The great thing about science is that it never claims to have all the answers, but it's always looking, as opposed to religion, which occasionally finds great meaning in a piece of burnt toast. Hey, look, it's Jesus. Hey, JC, how's your dad? He's quit? Good for him. Anyway, because of this admirable mantra, science often makes mistakes in its search for the truth, and some of them have been real doozies, I'll tell you. We've been led to believe that humans only have five senses, that water conducts electricity, and that sugar causes hyperactivity. But in reality, none of these things are true. So let's find out why Poindexter gone done goofed in our list of 10 things science got totally wrong. At number 10, the sugar rush. Hey parents, have you ever noticed how hyperactive your kids get when you give them sugary treats? Well, guess what? You're making it up. Back in 1973, allergist Benjamin Feingold devised a diet for hyperactive kids which advocated staying free of artificial preservatives, flavorings, and other such additives. Then, based on this diet, a 1978 study published in the Food and Cosmetics Toxicology Journal suggested that hyperactive children suffered worse behavior specifically after ingesting refined sugar. But in the years since, these tests have been entirely discredited and debunked. And although it is thought sugar might have a slight effect on some children, its actual impact on hyperactivity is exaggerated by parental perception. The propagation of this myth causes parents to see something which isn't there, with nutritionalists now believing most hyperactivity is merely a child's natural display of excitement in response to exciting events such as a birthday or Christmas parties. You know, those places where tons of sweet treats might normally be served. But if you're thinking this means you can go force feed your kids a whole bag of sugar, then please don't do that. Just feed them half a bag, along with a half a bag of salt. You know, for balance. At 9. You only use 10% of your brain. The myth that human beings only use 10% of their brain has been traced back to a game of scientific Chinese whispers, where a Harvard psychologist's perfectly accurate claim that people only use a small portion of their mental potential was bastardized over the years by various writers and eventually accepted as a statistical fact. So, while science as a whole never claimed this 10% brain theory to be accurate, it was believed by many educated people, including psychologists. However, neuroscientific studies have since proven this theory false, as has the amazing case of 26-year-old Sharon Parker, a woman who was born with just 10-15% to of a normal person's brain matter, yet who retains an IQ of 113 which is higher than 80% of the population. In truth, every part of the human brain is used for some kind of function. So the next time you flunk a test, don't go looking for those drugs Scarlett Johansson used in the movie Lucy. Unless you want to get roofied by a hobo again, which I do not. 8. Humans have five senses. How many different senses can you experience at once? Well, if you saw what happens when you lick and grope a screaming skunk while staring directly into its eyes, you'd think that five were just about enough. But contrary to what we once believed, the number of human senses may be as high as 20. Other known senses include the detection of balance and pressure, the feelings of hunger and thirst, and the ability to sense pain, heat, and vibrations, which explains why you should never handle your private back massager after chopping chili peppers. Many other senses such as echolocation and infrared sensing have also been observed in some unique individuals. And in July 2016, an American researcher claimed to have discovered that humans possess the untapped ability to sense Earth's magnetic fields. It is a known fact that dogs can detect these fields, and weirdly they always poop along the north-south axis of these invisible magnetic forces. So it's certainly possible that we humans can detect them too, and if we can, Maybe we'll start pooping along them, too. At number 7. The Blank Slate 
developed by 17th century doctor and philosopher John Locke, the blank slate theory, also known as tabula rasa, proposed that human beings are born without any mental content pre-installed into their brains. Kind of like a smartphone with no operating system. It claimed that human babies were a completely empty void and that all of our future knowledge and behaviors were acquired through experience. However, more recent theories based on the study of the minds of twins and adopted children found the blank slate theory to be total rhubarb. It is now known that IQ, addiction proneness, gender identity, and more can all be traced back genetically. So the next time you stare into an infant's eyes and see nothing but emptiness, just take a look at their parents to find out why. Number 6. Spontaneous Generation Today we know that various organisms procreate by either splitting themselves or banging each other. But as recently as the 19th century, it was scientifically accepted that creatures could spontaneously generate out of dust, dead flesh, or random matter. This theory was even backed up by an experiment by Louis Pasteur, an experiment which was later proven to have been faked. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Pasteur is the guy who taught us how to remove funky cow germs from milk to make it safe to drink. So if you can fake one experiment, what if we've been lied to by cow boob juice this whole time? At 5. Gum takes 7 years to digest. Nope. It's simply a myth. It is true that chewing gum cannot be broken down by your stomach's acids. But neither can pennies, and I poop those out easily every day. So why is it when we eat chewing gum, we never see a streak of Wrigley's when we wipe? Well, the simple reason is that when it gets warm, chewing gum is soft and malleable. As you'll have noticed, if you've ever taken it out of your mouth and put it in your friend's hair on a hot day, your body's internal heat is enough to cause the gum to swirl up with your poo and pop out your bottom undetected. Unless you go crazy and eat 10 pieces a day or something, like one four-year-old American boy did, he had to have that gum surgically removed from his rectum. And it's stories like this combined with the scientific properties of the gum which combined to create this misunderstanding. So while swallowing the odd piece won't harm you, I wouldn't eat it for every meal. 4. We're complicated. As the fanciest pantsiest organisms around with our cars and our hot pants and our toasted sandwich makers, the scientific belief that we humans were the most genetically complex things on planet Earth did kind of make sense. But then in 2003, when the Human Genome Project was completed, we discovered that humans only contain around 19 to 20,000 genes. Whereas the Physcomatrella patens plant, which is a small kind of moss, comprises of 32,275 individual genes. And now the moss makes fun of us in school because of it. Moss is mean. In at three, booze bad brain go do. Are you looking forward to getting absolutely slaughtered with grandma this Christmas, but worried you'll destroy your brain in the process? Well, don't worry. Because the idea that alcohol kills brain cells is a complete myth. So feel free to enjoy that Boxing Day game of eggnog pong with Grammy. I mean, alcohol can still harm you in a variety of other fancy ways, including the development of memory loss, hepatitis, cirrhosis, memory loss, mental health problems, brain damage, and memory loss. But it can't make your brain cells go bye-bye as science once thought it could and nor can it cause memory loss. 2. Water conducts electricity The first time someone mixed electricity in water, it must have been a rather shocking affair. And when science jerks analyzed the situation, it seemed pretty obvious how they came to the conclusion that water plus electricity equals bad. But it's only as we began to understand the true nature of electricity that we realized it wasn't the water which was conductive, but rather the minerals and dirt within it. In actuality, pure distilled water isn't very conductive at all. But that doesn't mean you should go ahead and try making toast in a bathtub full of it. In fact, I insist that you do not do that. 
You make your toast, and then you get in the bathtub. Got it? And at number one, the static universe. Hey, did you know that Einstein once thought the universe was entirely static? <laughs> what a dumb ass. Seriously, dude, do some book learnings like what I do to make myself smart in the brain parts. Idiot. Einstein's theory stated that the universe is now, as it always ever was, an unchanging constant in a fixed state which contains the same volume of matter as it always had done. But then, Edwin Hubble pointed his giant ass telescope at the sky and said, Oh, look! Everything's moving away from us! <gasps> the universe is expanding! And so, after Hubble fat-shamed the cosmos, Einstein subsequently abandoned his theory, calling it the biggest blunder of his career. After banging his cousin, of course. Whoopsie-daisy. And that's our list. Pretty neat, right? And if you like this, you'll love our recent video on the 10 weirdest discoveries of 2016. Because apparently monkey butts share a lot of characteristics with human faces. Go check it out and see if I'm lying.